Since the HX2 launched in 2020, I've been using mine when out bush and it has been great, but I've always hated having another gizmo stuck on my windshield. So how excited was I when HEMA Maps released a dongle that works with most aftermarket head units to put a better, faster version of the brains of the HX2 right in the dash. I was pretty bloody excited. What HEMA Maps have done is partner with AirPro, the experts behind aftermarket head units and accessories. They've found a way to install the maps and programming you'll find in the HX2 into a small module that plugs into your head unit's USB. They've then made combos for the most popular cars like the 70 series Land Cruiser I'm sitting in, which you can order from HEMA or pick one up from an Air Pro stockist including Autobahn, Super Cheap Auto, Ripco and independent car audio specialists. Now onto the install. The beauty of working with AirPro is that pretty much every aftermarket head unit uses their mounting brackets and fascias. So when they added head units to their inventory, they made combos like the AMT-029 for the 70 series Land Cruiser. It comes with patch looms, a fascia and a 9 inch head unit made to fit the factory slot. Add on an AMH xd 3 and you'll be able to get HEMA Explorer on the head unit. The beauty of all AirPro gear is that you really only need basic tools. A Phillips head screwdriver, 8mm socket, some pry tools if you want, and maybe a couple of cable ties to tidy things up. So you'll have noticed that the unit we're taking out isn't the factory one. Now the factory one is as simple to take out as this one was. Now the reason why we took it out is we weren't sure if this one had a USB plug in the back, and it doesn't. But what we did learn is that it's actually the exact same fascia, which is great. And looking at the plugs, there are a few differences between this Air Pro and this, which is a no-name head unit. Um, but this one is going to be an absolute piece of cake to plug in, especially with the patch looms. We might be able to reuse some that's in there. We'll find out in a second. The install is a 30-minute job. Pop the factory surround off, unplug the clock and hazard lights. If yours is a factory head unit, you'll see four bolts that need to be taken out to remove your head unit. You will probably need to take the side brackets off to mount the replacement head unit. As ours was a straight swap into the same fascia, we only had to bolt the unit into the fascia and plug it all in. Grab the patch looms, plug everything in. Here is where the AMHXD3 plugs in, in the back of the head unit. You'll see a CarPlay Android Auto USB plug. Plug in the module and you're ready to test it. And that's the hard part. Now it's syncing your phone to the HEMA Cloud account to get the best out of it. A little word of warning, because the HEMA module runs between the head unit and your phone, you need to connect to the module and not the head unit. Make sure you disconnect from the head unit and only to the AMHDX3 module. With the unit powered up, open up your phone settings, head to the Bluetooth section and look for the AMHXD3. Connect to it like you would any other Bluetooth device. Once you've got your module connected to the internet, you also want to log in to HEMA Cloud on the device. Follow the prompts. If you have an account already, enter your details if you don't create one. Now you do get a three year basic account when buying the module. Once you've done that, update the maps, update anything it asks you to. And remember, every time you come back from the bush, reconnect and upload your tracks so that you've got them saved in the HEMA cloud. If you want to upgrade your maps or add an adventure mode to the AMHXD3, you can buy upgrades from the HEMA cloud. Once you're happy it's all running, turn off your ignition, tidy up the cables with some cable ties and reassemble the dash starting with mounting the head unit in place and then carefully popping the trim back on there should be enough room to keep the module in the dash behind the head unit. 
and now you have an in-dash head unit that uses HEMA's excellent mapping and the power of the HX2 Explorer system at your fingertips. This means you can record trips, add trip info, and search the over 100,000 points of interest mapped around the country. Installing this particular Air Pro head unit was a little bit easier thanks to the fascia being the same and the plugs and things being pretty straightforward. Now using it, pretty straightforward. You'll have seen me, I can just quickly flick through the screens I wanna use, but now I've also got the power of the HX2 and all of HEMA's excellent mapping built into the dash. No more clutter on the screen. I love it already. You can order your combo online from HEMA or drop into any Air Pro stockist.